Okay guys, so welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. For this week's vlog, I'm going to try something different. I wanted pasta. Yes, I know, I just had pasta with a lengua. But I wanted something different. Uh, and I decided to make it a two-parter. For this week, we'll do the pasta. Next week will be another dish using the same ingredient. You know what that ingredient is? That is Italian-style meatballs. So for this week's vlog, I will teach you how to make Italian-style meatballs. We're going to cook it in a ragu, or no, not a ragu, a nice tomato sauce, somewhat like a passata or a marinara. And we're going to serve it with the meatballs. Technically, it's not supposed to be served this way. Italians will roll in their grave if you say if you say that this is pure Italian. It's actually Italian American because they used to serve meat with pasta separately in Italy. So let's go to the kitchen and start cooking. So yeah. Okay, to start, we have one egg. We're gonna whisk it really well. We're gonna add one fourth cup of milk, and we're going to whisk it also together. And now, we're going to add some day-old bread. We're going to soak it up and leave it alone for 10 minutes. Okay, our next step, we have ground beef and ground pork in a bowl. We're going to add salt and pepper. And then we're going to add next is some minced garlic and some minced onion. Now, this is to flavor the meat and it will help it keep it moisturized too okay next to that we have some minced or chiffonade basil and next to that we're going to add some parmesan cheese roughly about one third cup there and next our soaking bread mixture there and we're going to use the best utensils to mix this our hands okay mix it really well together until it's a homogeneous mixture there next we're going to shape this into balls we're going to shape it and make sure that our pan is big enough I made the mistake I had to use a bigger pan okay now we're going to bake this for 15 minutes at 350 degrees and there next in our pan we have olive oil we're going to fry some garlic chips or sliced thin garlic something like the good fella sauce then to this we're going to add a small pinch of chili peppers chili flakes to be exact and then we're going to add one can of crushed tomatoes specifically capri then to this we're going to use three-fourths of the can of water now we're going to stir this really well together and we're going to add something else a bunch of fresh basil there drop it in and let it simmer we're going to let this simmer for 10 minutes there now once it's done simmering we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar to cut the acidity of the tomatoes now, once it's done simmering, we're going to add in our baked meatballs. We're going to mix it and make it simmer into that sauce so that the beef, flavor of the beef and the flavor of the sauce become one. There. Let it simmer for a good 30 minutes. Okay. Next, we will take out the meatballs from the sauce and then we're going to add the pasta noodles afterwards there but let it simmer first okay let it simmer and remove it after 30 minutes okay now the pasta I specifically use spaghetti cook the spaghetti until al dente well technically 90% of the way and then the last 10% cook it with the sauce with a bit of the pasta water that's the secret I'm gonna stir this 
until it's cooked all the way when it's still al dente. There. Okay? Okay, we finished cooking in the kitchen and here it is, look at that, beautiful. I just assembled it, I cooked the sauce with the noodle but I separated the balls already after stewing it in that sauce. All the flavors of the meatballs are in the sauce already, I just separated it so it will look nice on plating. Okay, now in Italy you don't actually serve pasta with meatballs like this, you make a ragu with it. and mix that with the sauce or you make Sunday gravy which is sausages and off cuts beef the hard cuts and you stew it in that tomato sauce for hours and hours until everything comes off you serve antipasti first and then pasta dish afterwards and then the last will be the meat which is the secundi okay so let's try it out the noodles are nice and al dente Yes, I'm ruining the plating. That's gonna look good. There. Okay, first bite. Right away, you can taste that basil, the garlic, that nice sweet tomato sauce the addition of the sugar actually cuts the acidity of the tomatoes it it has a nice flavor to it now but that hmm that basil is really strong okay so we'll give one of the balls a try nice and tender very flavorful it has a somewhat oregano taste to it. I don't know why. I added only basil to this. But it has that very distinct Italian flavor, I think. Maybe it's because of the addition of the milk with the bread. It's not that hard. It's actually quite soft. Look at that. We cut it in half. Take a look inside. Nice and fluffy enough fat in the pork that and the flavor from the beef it's a perfect mix you're supposed to use veal but I couldn't find veal here in Manila so we decided to use pork okay so we'll go one bite with the pasta and meat and turn this around there one big bite Real pasta is supposed to have a lot of textures, al dente noodle, smooth sauce, fluffy meatballs, and that additional flavor of sweetness, slight tartness from the tomatoes, and the savory flavor from the from the herbs and spices that you added in. Okay, so that's my pasta dish. I hope you learned something from this. And next week, I'll be using the meatballs for something else. So, till next vlog, see you in the dining room and in my kitchen. So, tara, luto at kain tayo. Bye-bye!